So then I'm going to show you how to build an AI automation lead capture bot for a solar installment company as an example. But the whole idea is basically a user can submit a form and from this form he gets a custom email response to increase his response rate. You can also use the same thing for lead ads, anything that captures information. But the benefit with the BotPress bot is that the integration is easy and also the capturing process seems more straightforward and more human-like than just like a just simple form. Also, the whole thing is built with BotPress, Sapir, and ChatGPT, and it's completely no code. And you can also implement with any CRM or email outreach system of your choice. So the tangible outcome for the car client is you can collect the relevant information from the customer in the form and put the information that you want in there. Also, the customer feels it's more like a real conversation than just a boring form. And also, when you send out a customized email, it increases the response rate because you bridge the gap between sending out mass emails that are not personalized and having to spend a lot of time personalizing emails. So you can actually send out a bunch of really personalized emails that address the pain points of the customers from the collected information and increase the response rate drastically. And that for all kinds of services. Then the benefits of the AI integration is it bridges the gap and also it's really easy to integrate in any workflow and it's quite cheap to use. Then the base flow is we have a customer form, which in our example would be the bot rest bot, but it can also be a Facebook ads form or a high level form, anything like that. Then into any CM of our choice, then the ChatGPT email will create a response from our data. And then it will send with any email provider of all choice, the customer a targeted email from the email we collected. Now, this is the flow better visualized and specific to this example. So we have the bot press bot who sits on the client side. It's easily integratable with just some JavaScript lines. It's two lines of code and integrated in any site. Then it collects the data and sends it to Sapier. Sapier then uh, extracts the data and in Sapien, sends the data to our Google Sheets CRM. It could also be HubSpot or Salesforce, but uh, Google Sheets is just the inverse form to implement and to show it. And then the ChatGPT API takes the information from Google Sheets and uses it to craft an email response from the template we gave it and also has all the information that we collected. And then all in Sapier, this information will be sent via a Gmail email client directly to the customer. So. Here we have our WordPress site. It's basically just a start. The button to do itself with a text. And then our main focus are those uh, single choice points where we ask the user a question and then we give him four answers or options. He can click and those answers are then stored into a variable. And in the end, when we collected everything, we then have uh, execute code, which uses a Sapier webhook to send all the collected variables to Sapier. Also, this is in English and we also have a German one and you can also use a translator agent if you have multiple languages, but it really doesn't work well. That's one downside of WordPress. It's quite slow if you use a translator agent. So if you have a client who uses a site in a specific language, I would build it out in a specific language just to make the flow easier. Then we have here our test CRM, which already is filled in, but has our points and there will be the new data that added. Now, here's our Sapier flow, which catches the Sapier webhook where we have our information in. It takes the information out, puts it into the rows in the Google Sheet. Then the rows will be put into ChatGPT, where we have a custom prompt template in, which basically says, write an onboarding email for our solar installment company, and those are the information for the customers. And then we send an email via Gmail. Here we have our empty email box, and this is a mock client website with just like a picture in the background and the bot integrated down here. Then we will introduce towards the bot. And one thing with BotPress is if you install it on a site for the first time, it's quite slow in the beginning to initialize, but if you don't actually have the paid plan, it works way faster. So the bot loses it itself and then we capture the relevant information about the customer to have a good lead. So it's a single family house. Does the customer own the house? And also good with WordPress is we don't have to just say, uh, like multiple choice things. We can also just put in raw data and any kind of raw data it can be text or integers and WordPress will know how to use and handle those kinds of data. 
by itself. So we don't have to train it, which is quite beneficial. And also there are ways to ensure if data is correct or not. So if you later want to um, capture addresses or phone numbers or emails, there are already installed ways in WordPress which check if it's even an email or like a real street. So it makes the whole process even easier. So you don't have to customize stuff. So we can just hear like, like a random street. And also in the full address, we can put like a random street, a zip code, a country, everything. And WordPress will instantly figure this out and give us and split the information in pieces. So we can put it into our CM. And now we can address pain points of the customer. So why does he even want solar? Let's say he wants to be more self-sufficient or we can open put an open-ended question like why do you even want solar do you care about the planet or what's your whole interest but those were just examples and let's say he doesn't have an electric car now we have all the base information captured then when he does he wants it and now we try to capture the information of the lead so his full name which is also going to be broken down by WordPress in itself, which is pretty cool. You can also like add a way to check if it's a real phone number, but I just put it out. And we capture the email. Now this is going to be sent to Sapier. Sapier then puts it into our Google Sheet, which is here now populated. And then Sapier uses the information from the Google Sheet to send our email and we got our email, which is now a detailed onboarding email from our solar company, which goes in all the things that we put in there. So we have self-sufficient here, we have the single family house and how much energy has been taken and all that. So it's not just like prompt templating for like a normal email, because if we have other things, we can just change it up because if you ask the user multiple questions, so why is solar important to you? And he says something completely different than it's that, then we can change it in the email. So we can put out mass personalized emails to a bunch of people and capture and nurture our leads with a simple and easily integrated flow. So I hope this helped and was interesting to you and see you in the next one.